Do you know what the journalist said when he found the wall? Hmm, not really. What did he say? This is a solid story. Hi, I'm Georgiana. Thanks for joining me for another episode of the podcast. My mission is to help you improve your fluency. And if you want to help me, please share the podcast. That would mean a lot. Thanks. Remember that you can get the text of this episode on my website, speakenglishpodcast.com. Okay, let's start. This time, I'll share more types of writing in journalism. In an earlier episode, I talked about different types of news writing, such as news, report, and interviews. And with a fun mini story, you will practice your English speaking. We will explore opinion genres, where writing is done from a subjective perspective. This perspective can be the author's or the media's opinion. Let's see what they are. Number one, editorial. Imagine a newspaper reporting on an event and publishing various news articles, reports, and maybe interviews. The newspaper may publish an editorial, which expresses the newspaper's opinion or position on the topic covered in the news. It usually reflects the media's ideological stance. An editorial generally doesn't mention the author and is not too long. Typically, it can be found on the first few pages. Number 2. Opinion article An opinion article is a text that presents the viewpoint of a specific person, like a journalist, politician, or public figure. These articles don't necessarily align with the media's editorial stance. Ideally, diverse media outlets would have different opinion articles, enriching the content and allowing readers to compare different perspectives. Number 3. Column Yes, a column supports buildings. But in journalism, columns are something different, of course. They are similar to opinion articles, but are usually shorter. Additionally, these have specific authors who write regularly and usually focuses on topics like politics, sports, or lifestyle. The term column comes from arranging narrow vertical sections in old newspapers to save space on printed pages. Number 4. Letter to the Editor This is a common section in many newspapers and magazines where readers can send letters with their opinions, comments, and suggestions about the published articles and topics. The letter to the editor is a way for people to share their thoughts with the newspaper's editors. Many times, these letters are written about a specific article in the newspaper or a topic that is currently important to the reader. I think this practice is becoming less popular because social media has changed how readers share their opinions on news and current topics. However, this part is still important for people who like to send their comments privately or directly to the newspaper's editors instead of posting them on social media. Some individuals 
don't use social media. So writing letters to the editor can be the only way to communicate. And now let's continue with a mini story. I will tell a story by asking simple questions. I use this technique extensively in my premium courses, as it is highly effective. First, I say a phrase with information. Next, I ask some questions. After each question, there is a pause. It's your turn to answer. After each pause, I will give a correct answer. That's how I build a story. And if you want to improve your fluency much faster, check out my premium courses at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. There are several levels. Okay, let's start. Grace, your dream was to become an excellent journalist. Was your dream to become someone smart? No, my dream wasn't to become someone smart. I already was. I was, and I am, very smart. I wanted to become an excellent journalist. What did you want to become? An excellent journalist. That's what I wanted. To be an excellent journalist. After studying journalism, you got a job at a newspaper. Did you get a job in the media? Yes, I got a job in the media, at a newspaper. Did you get a job before or after studying journalism? After, after studying journalism at university. Where did you get a job? At a newspaper. I got a job at a newspaper. Your boss wanted you to become more sensationalist, but you left because you disagreed. Did you leave because your boss wanted you to be more subjective? No, I didn't leave because of that. My boss wanted me to be more sensationalist. Did you agree to be more sensationalist? No, I disagreed. I didn't agree to be more sensationalist. Did you leave or stay in the new job? I left. I left the new job. Why did you leave the job? Because I disagreed with being more sensationalist. You started a blog of objective news, but only your mother and four friends read it. Did you start a blog of sensationalist news? No, no. I didn't start a blog like that. I started a blog 
on objective news. Did a lot of people read it? No, not a lot of people read it. Only my mother and four friends. How many people read it? Three, four, or five? Five. Only five people read it. My mother and my four friends. To increase blog visits, you started publishing absurd news. Did you start publishing discreet, objective, and boring news? No, no. I didn't do that. I started publishing absurd news. Why did you start publishing that kind of news? To increase blog visits. What increased? Blog visits. Finally, you managed to have the most read blog in the world. Did you have the most read blog in the world at the beginning? No, no, not at the beginning. What did you achieve? Having the most read blog in the world. Was the blog the most or least read in the world? The most read in the world, of course. As I told you, I'm very smart. I would eventually have something unique and surprising. I'm the best. Wow, humility is not your strong suit, right? You're right. I'm a bit proud, but I'm very smart. Great. Grace got what she wanted. She managed to get everyone to read her blog. Today, You've only seen a small example of how the question and answer technique works. Do you want to unlock this full potential? Get my premium courses at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. That's all for today. I'll be back next week. Bye-bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com.